In the world of electrified door hardware, knowing the difference between fail secure and fail safe is important. These two terms are used to describe how the door works from the key side with the presence or the removal of electrical power to the locking mechanism. Let's start with their definitions. Fail secure products are locked from the outside when they are not getting power. This means when power is cut, say because of severe weather, the fail secure product is locked. This also means to unlock a fail secure product, power must be applied. Fail-safe products are unlocked from the outside when they are not getting power. This means when power is cut, say because of severe weather, the fail-safe product is unlocked. This also means to lock a fail-safe product, power must be applied. Some electrified hardware is always fail-secure, such as the Von Duprin electric latch retraction exit devices. The latches on these devices are extended and engaged with their strikes when there is no power going to the devices. To retract the latches so someone can pull the door open from the outside, there must be power sent to the device. These devices work well on exterior doors because if power is cut, the devices will be locked from the outside. Remember, you can always exit through doors equipped with panic hardware. Electric latch retraction devices can be used on fire-rated openings when they are tied to the fire alarm system. Remember, fire-rated openings require positive latching to slow the spread of smoke and fire. The trigger of the alarm will prompt power to be removed from the devices, so the latches will then extend and engage with their strikes. Next, let's look at a few common products designed to be either fail-secure or fail-safe. Many mortise and cylindrical lock sets can be electrified to control access from the key side. Most electromechanical lock sets provide for free egress, meaning one can go out of the door at all times. A fail-secure electromechanical lock set is locked from the key side and there is no power to the lock. When power is applied, the lock is unlocked so the lever can be turned to retract the latch. This is a good choice for areas where one needs to restrict access, should there be a loss of power. The reverse is true of a fail-safe electromechanical lock set. When there is no power to the lock, the lever can be turned to retract the latch. Fail-safe electromechanical lock sets are good for fire-rated stairwell doors that require re-entry in the event of a fire alarm. During a fire alarm, the stair side is unlocked so anyone using the stairwell can enter a floor in case the stairwell becomes unusable. What if the stairwell doors must have panic hardware on them? One cannot use electric latch retraction devices for the stairwell re-entry doors because those devices lock when power is removed. Most exit device manufacturers offer an electrified trim that works similar to the electromechanical lock sets and can be either fail-safe or fail-secure. If fail-safe and tied to the fire alarm system, when the alarm is triggered, the lever is unlocked so the lever can be turned to retract the latch. Another popular electrified hardware product that can be either fail-secure or fail-safe is the electric strike. An electric strike has a lip, sometimes called a keeper, that is electrically controlled. It is in the pocket of this lip where the latch is positioned when the door is closed. When the lip is unlocked, it can pivot so a person can open the door from the key side without retracting the latch. A fail-secure electric strike is commonly used for basic access control situations. When power is removed, the lip of the electric strike is locked and therefore the door is locked from the key side. When power is applied, the lip of the strike is free to move so the door can be opened. A fail-safe electric strike is less common because it offers no security in the event of power failure and it cannot be used in a fire-rated opening. A fail-safe electric strike means the lip of the strike would be unlocked if power were removed, so the lock or exit device would no longer be positively latched. Changes in air pressure alone could blow the door open, allowing smoke or fire to spread. A good example of electrified hardware that is always fail-safe is the electromagnetic lock, commonly called mag locks that consist of an electromagnet mounted to the door frame and a metal plate attached to the door. 
When energized, the metal plate is magnetically held to the lock. When power is removed, the mag lock does nothing. If there is no other lock on the door, people can come and go through the opening. Keep in mind the mag locks are often used for additional security and crowd control, but their use requires careful attention to building codes. And, unlike the products we've talked about thus far, when energized, mag locks do not allow for free egress. One final note, for those locks, trims, and electric strikes that can be either fail secure or fail safe, some of them can be set at installation. For others, one must order the product from the manufacturer either fail secure or fail safe. Regardless of when or how the decision is to be made, the choice of fail secure versus fail safe should never be left to chance. Life safety and security depend on it. To watch more videos, please visit our training page at www.allegion.com/us.